church lane. seats up. up lately. Yeah, I'm coming in now and videoing. Um, I still don't know. St George's Church. Oh, there we go. A nice little leaflet. St George's Church. Bicknola. I'll sign my name in a minute. Yeah, I can't. I don't know if I came in here or not. The door's open. <coughs> I'll do the video first in case anyone comes in. I can't really video. Let's just see if there's any. We've got vicars in the family a long time ago, but. At least they've got a tap, look, you could get water if you had to. That's a good idea. Nice wagon ceiling. I've got all the instructions in here, which I can add when I put the video on line, rather than struggle to read them now. I'll take photos in a minute. I'll do the video first. remember if I got in, if I've been inside or not. It doesn't look familiar, but it is, say, nine, ten years ago. And I will look for the old video footage that i done. I will look. This one's got a tap inside, so it's got ten out of ten so far for having a tap. There might even be facilities, I noticed the doors open. It's always a bonus when they do that.
lovely strong ceiling. Lovely fan work as well in there, look. Beautiful, isn't it? Lovely carving. Stone altar. Strong stone altar, look. <sighs> Lovely strong stone altar. I haven't got my glasses on, so I can't actually read anything. <sighs> With the original altar cross striped of all its coverings. So it's got it's just the basics underneath. Been stripped down up. Gargoyles. The Sweetings family. John Norris, Thorncombe House, died in eighteen sixty. He's in that tomb outside. A thousand year old yew tree in the Grant graveyard. The figure of St. George, yes. The figure of St. George. Uh, now, when I went to Brent Knoll last week, they've got a similar memorial thing like that to a family. This is to the Sweetings. The stocks are out there. Lovely stained glass windows. I will have a thorough look. Heraldry. Yeah, I'll have a look at that. Lovely big window, look at that. Guard on each side by lovely carved angels. Quantock Towers. Not quite sure what that means at the moment. The glory of God in loving memory of Violet Lena Vernon, the gift of her husband and sons in 1936. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. It's a nice stained glass window, isn't it? Also here lies the body of Edward Saffin of Picknoller, Gent, who deceased the 12th day of June Anno Domini, 1,681. <sighs> 59 years. 1681. That's old, that is. Like I say, in my family, I've got people in other churches buried with their plaques on the walls. The Isaacsons, the Stupfills, the Hassels. Oh, remembered in places around the country. Here's the body of Joan Saffin, the widow of William Saffin of Bicknoller, gentleman who died the 29th of April, Anno Domini, 1669, aged 77. Another great big tomb. See, lots of people, like high up, they um, donated a lot of money to the church, you see, so... Lovely stained glass windows. Look at that lovely one of St. George. Isn't that gorgeous? St. Michael. Dorcas and Elizabeth. S. Elizabeth. Is that St. Elizabeth? Yes, cared for, you can tell. I like that altar being like that. Sometimes they put like a cloth on it and it gets covered in spiders. I just love the roof as well. It makes you feel safe in here. Solid. And then you've got some fine uh, woodwork. Sculpture there, those fans. It's beautiful, isn't it? They're in Duras, that's what you quite often have uh, by there. And then you've got these screens that they kept up. Some people have taken, churches have taken these screens down. It's supposed to separate the public from the, you know, nobles and that, all that sort of thing. And we've got um, a few, I'll take some pictures of these shields in a minute. 
I'm glad I've come back actually because I've learned a lot more about churches since I started doing many, many, many churches over the years. Over the past ten years especially. And enhanced by doing family tree work. Mother's Union, Bicknoller. Maybe it is called All Towers, this church. No, it's St George's. It's St George's. It's a lovely old organ, isn't it? My church of where my ancestors are buried, the Stuckfells in Dalham, they had all the lead stolen off the roof about two years ago. And they also had their organ stolen in broad daylight. Can you imagine that? They put scaffolding up and everything, and they, they stole it all. Absolutely amazing. That's a very old church where my ancestors are buried, the Stuckfells. And other associated names by marriage. Now this church definitely gets 10 out of 10 plus plus plus. For making these facilities available. I am very impressed. This is very, very good. You've done this for the people. So many churches, they don't provide any water. Apart from outside, and you're never quite sure if you should drink it. They even leave the door ajar. Look, they're not saying you can't come in here. They know there's a lot of walkers that come here. They know that. Yeah, my videos are very reflective and informative, by the way. And I often speak out. It's a lovely view there. It's beautiful, isn't it, really? Let's just zoom in, see if I can see who that is. Johannes Sweeting, gentlemen. Yeah, so it's a sweeting again. I'll look that um, shield up under sweeting. So it's, it's beautiful. I'm half expecting it to be bigger, like with another room. It's so beautiful. And there probably had been further stained glass. Don't forget that there was a lot of destruction in the past of churches desecration of them. Yeah, this really is truly a beautiful, beautiful window. Some of these might, of course, be new. In loving memory of Henry Burke of Seth Mayer, 1871 to 1948. I'm doing it in quite a bit of depth because I don't know what state the other one would be in. It's beautiful though, isn't it? Beautiful. It might have even been bigger. It'll be in this manual. Put me, I'm turning off now and get my glasses out. Over and out. Alright, here we got St George's. Big Nolla. I've been inside and videoed and took lots of photos and I'm going to try and find my old video. It would be called Under Somerset Churches that would be under. I, uh, it's one of my first ventures on the Coleridge Walk actually, that and I started to, just started to explore the Quantox more. And there's some um, thatch cottage over there. Lots of old graves. <clears throat> I'm just doing a, a little scan round. Uh, I'm doing more of a video than looking at graves exactly. Another nice picture of the church here. 
embraced by the Quantock Hills to behind it. Up there the hills are, but not a hill. And uh This was the goal to get here, so I've achieved that. I always check some of the names. You never know. Um, you just never know, really, what might turn up, you see. There's a few Coleridge's names in here. Frederick. John Randolph Coleridge. There was another one further down. I wonder if there's any connection at all to the Coleridge family. Vice Provost of Sir Eton and his wife Julia Isabel Llewellyn. He died, died 1982, born 1908. You never know, do you? There might be some some family in here. It is certainly a beautiful location to end up. Quiet, peaceful, very peaceful. And it probably will be for a long, well, forever. If you've got the chance to be included in a community like this. Because it is very much a community thing, isn't it? It's a concert, love in memory of Sheila Rosemary Cunningham. 1918 to 2011. That's a neat little stone, isn't it? There. Just a little simple stone, really. <laughs> William Terrett Creswell Cricketer. I wonder if he was a cricketer. Yeah, in 1889 to 1971. Yeah, he could have actually been. There's another Creswell there, look. Creswell family. Oh, they're all here, all Creswells. They've got a wood there. Ellen J. Wood. 1908. Died 1908. Age 58. There's the old cross. Here. The old big old Saxon cross. Red sandstone brickwork of the church. Over here we've got um, an encased tomb of the sweet, Sweetings, I think, or Sweet something or other, uh, family that are very prominent in the church and got some gravestones inside under the floor. There's a, there's a couple of big slabs in there to them. Uh, they were lucky they didn't get this railing taken. Look, he was born 1784, died in 1860. Prominent member of the family in here. I mean, I might have recorded all this before. I've got absolutely no idea. It was in memory of John Norris. Oh, Don Norris. Oh, yeah. Of Thorncombe House Esquire. Yeah, the Norris family. That's right. Right, I'm now going to take some more photos, everyone. Over now.